video, I'm going to be comparing the Peanuts franchise to the Alvin and the Chipmunks franchise. Now, yes, I did talk about the Peanuts movie because I did a video comparing Blue Sky Stu comparing Blue Sky Studios to Illumination. Pretty sure Peanuts movies from Blue Sky Studios. When I did those videos comparing different studios, I talked about the Peanuts movie specifically, but not the other movies based on these characters, which are not put out by one of these major studios. I haven't yet talked about the Alvin and the Chipmunks franchise at all. When you look at the highest score for each franchise, in the case of Alvin and the Chipmunks, this movie called Chipmunks Adventure, it's an animated film, has a 75%. In the case of Peanuts, this movie from 1969 has a 95%. Then we look at lowest score. The movie Chipwrecked, the third of the live-action Alvin movies, only has a 10%. When you look at Peanuts, this movie called Race for Your Life, Charlie, only has a 50%. Then we look at average score. This one's not even close. Peanuts has an average of 80. Alvin only an average of 40. Peanuts wins again. Then we look at gap between lowest and highest score. You have a gap of 45 in the case of Peanuts. You have a gap of 65 in the case of Alvin. So Peanuts wins again. And for me, this one is not close. It's pretty obvious that, yeah, Peanuts franchise is absolutely superior to the Alvin and the Chipmunks franchise i've seen three out of four of the live action alvin movies and none of them are very none of them are very good when it comes to the second movie the squeak the squeakquel there's just too much going on too many characters so it's really unfocused it's jumping around between so many different things the first movie is i just okay at best it's not particularly good dave is not really that likable of a character because the movie spends so much time with him being annoyed with the chipmunks or being angry at them yeah when you get to the end okay we see that dave really cares about them but it's too little too late for a lot of the runtime he's just constantly irritated by the chipmunks then when you look at chipwrecked the third film and you can just feel that they the filmmakers really are running out of good ideas <laughs> you have this arc for alvin him learning to be more responsible and you just feel like wait a minute didn't we already do this in the previous movies I mean, sure, you have Redemption for Ian, which, okay, is nice. And, I mean, you have Simon be bit by a spider, and thus he learns how to be more confident. And then even when he becomes regular Simon again, he realizes that other side, there's another side to his personality he didn't know was there. Okay, that's nice, but overall... It just feels like, man, the creative juices are really running low. Like the story's not very interesting. The characters are not very interesting. The movie's not particularly funny. In this franchise, these live-action movies weren't even well-received when they first started, but definitely over time, people clearly just got more and more tired of them. <laughs> Also, when you think about the first movie, there's some pretty juvenile humor with one of the chipmunks, Simon, specifically pretending to eat a turd. And you also have the chipmunks writing all these things about poop and butts on these frame, on these posters, which leads to Dave being fired. You go, man, the really lowbrow here. <laughs> Now, I've seen Chipmunk Adventure, and I found it super refreshing to watch a Chipmunks movie that I actually really enjoyed. That one actually doesn't have the really juvenile humor you have with the live-action movies. It actually has an interesting story with 
compelling characters <laughs> and it looks good I would say plus there's a music scene that's pretty entertaining now I really enjoyed the Peanuts movie I watched that for the first time not too long ago I thought it, it told an engaging story there were characters I enjoyed spending time with voice acting is really good I thought the visuals were really interesting I like the hand-drawn way that Charlie and the other characters look when you see these fantasy sequences with the dog that's pretty entertaining and they look really interesting I would say <laughs> oh even though there's been a few good Alvin movies I haven't actually watched meet Frankenstein or meet Wolfman overall it's pretty obvious that Peanuts has been a lot more consistent than Alvin has been. So I'll wrap things up for this one.